this young lady over there that how easy this can be. Okay, now one thing though, to get something published, you have to have something to publish, right? So even though this publishing step is going to look fairly straightforward and simple, I don't know how long Brandon's been writing this book for. You've been writing this for a while, right? How long has it taken you to write the book? Yeah. Um, how long have you taken to write this? Yeah. Uh, since 2006. Huh? Okay. So what I want you to appreciate is that even though this publishing aspect may seem simple and quick and wow, there was nothing to it. Remember we are talking that you took nine years to get to this point. So I just want you to realize that before you publish something, you need to have something to publish. And that can take. Okay. We are, we are going to do your Internet Explorer and sign up to Amazon and do the steps that we did. Amazon. Go to Amazon. So, we have got three things. Brandy has got three things that she needs to publish this book. One is the book itself, which is in a Word document. <coughs> and to publish an e-book of it, yeah, that would be one more self publish with us. Okay. So you need three things to publish a book on Kindle. Get started. You need a book itself. And for a Kindle book, it has to be a single word document. Everything has to be in one word document. And sign in. Okay. So if you have an Amazon account that you use to buy things, that account will work for self-publishing. Amazon is very good that everything is on a single account, so which is typically your email. You are going to agree to that now. Agree. Agree. <coughs> okay. We can do that later. I guess you haven't given them your tax information and stuff like that. So, so. but we think I think we should okay. Where it says create a new title, we do that. I'm sorry. Create a new title. The reason that she's getting this information here <coughs> is that all of these publishing companies have to work on the assumption that you're going to be a bestseller, which means that you're going to make money, which means that they're going to give you royalties. But because these are US companies, if they give you royalties, it also means that they have to report you to the IRS. So before you can publish a book, so this is going to be a slight thing that you want to do. They need all of your tax information and they need to verify your tax information. Because they are not, they are not going to allow you to publish a book and then make royalties unless they know that they are not going to get into trouble with. So that's why she's getting this information because I'm sure she hasn't given them a social security number. So the information that they need makes sense. They want your bank account number. They want a bank account that they can pay your royalties to. So they want routing code, they want account number, they want social security number. And that's true with all of these companies because this is a this is a real this is a real deal. Are all the ones you mentioned secured websites? The yeah, secure websites mean this one, Kindle, Kindle is Amazon, so it is as secure as Amazon is going to be. Um, of that whole list that I showed you, the only companies that I would say that you might you would want to consider are Smashword, Lulu, CreateSpace, Lightning Source. But I am somewhat sanguine about, you know, so many people ask me for my social security number and whatever, I just, 
And you know, I, I, I get my health insurance from Anthem. Anthem was hacked. So <coughs> Home Depot's been hacked, Target's been hacked. So it's like, what the heck? It's like, OK, your book. Can you give me a break? I think you might want to do that later. Okay. Because that's going to start asking you information. Which I'm <laughs> OK, scroll down your book. Not started. Enroll this book in KD. Oh, no, OK, no, yes. This option here is interesting. KDP select is something that you enroll for 90 days at a time. But that basically says that you are exclusively with Kindle. Mm. That you are not going to publish this book with Apple or Nook or anybody else. But there's an advantage for this which Brandy will find. That just by ticking that box, Amazon once a month will send you maybe 20 cents, maybe 30 cents, maybe more. Because this is one of their marketing programs. Amazon puts aside 6 million, 15 million, 20 million a month to distribute among all the authors who select KDB Select. So it's a no brainer. You just, so basically, they say we want exclusive rights for your ebook for 90 days. If you give us that right, we have a pool of money, we divvy that up, and we will send you. And they do. I mean, it's not much. I sometimes get $2. This is totally outside your royalties. This is just for selecting. So do KDP. Enroll this book in KDP select. Then you click on it now. Yeah. And then we are going to scroll down. Book name. That's it, no time, no period. That's good. So carry on scrolling down, there is no subtitle. Is that, is that where we do the A novel? No, not subtitle. Uh, oh, you want to do that? I didn't know it's it. Ah, uh, yeah, if you want it, yeah, that would be a novel, would be the subtitle, yes. Yes, yeah, scroll up a bit more so that you can see a bit more. So go down a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Okay, carry on scrolling down. You don't need an edition number yet. And you don't need a publisher. Amazon? No, they, they put all that in. Oh, okay. Okay. Description. So I said that Brandy needed, BD Adams needed three things from the book. One was the book itself, the other thing is a description. Now we need to go and open your Word document and get that description that we have created, the book description. So you put the description in there? Yeah, we got to go and find that on your Word. We got to cut and paste that. Um, on the thing it says this book is part of a series. Um, if you check that off, what does that mean? If you plan to have a series of books, they will, Amazon will make sure that people really know okay. that there's other books in this series. Okay. You plan to have a series of books? Or? I have one in mind that's a trilogy. Okay, so if you're doing a trilogy, yes. So. Oh, hang on, That's, this is the book, right? Or is this the description? Description. Okay. Start here and just select, highlight it. Yeah, and then copy. Okay. That's everything? Okay. Then bring it over to here and paste it. Control V. B as in Victor. So bring it over here and copy. Okay, yeah, home, you can do that. Copy. <coughs> B 
be down to here. And control V will do that. V as in Victor. Yeah, please check it. Just carry on down here to see what it looks like, what you have. Okay. It's there. That's good. Okay, carry on scrolling down using this here. Okay. Very important. Keep that. That's the big thing. Add contributors. Uh -huh. That's where your name goes in. I'm sorry? That's where your name goes in. You've got to hit add contributors and you see what happens. Add contributors. Book. book. This is where the author name goes in. To do that, you've got to hit that button. Why don't they just say author? Mm. Interesting point because they are trying to, because so you will see when it says add contributors, you will actually see the options. Yes. There would, can be editors. <laughs> Because there can be editors, there can be other writers, so it gives you the option. No, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta click it. You click it first. Oh. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Backspace. Book Delete contributors that. is where the author name goes in. Now click that. There, there you go. Oh. Ah. See, you can select the title. Huh. See, if you go click here, then it will answer this gentleman's question as to, so if you click here, Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just carry on. You just you gotta scroll down, that's it all. It doesn't want me to do my my initials. No, I think you just mm -hmm. do the other arrow. Mm -hmm. 